and joins us live from Mallets Bay in Colchester with details on what's called Operation Dry Water. Jennifer. That's right, Steph. Most boaters are just putting their skiffs right into the water. For Vermont State Police and the U.S. Coast Guard, it's the perfect time to remind captains the rules of the water. If you're headed out onto the water this weekend, you may spot more authorities than normal. It's National Operation Dry Water Weekend. And what it is is a national awareness campaign where we intensify different types of patrols, um, to make sure that we're contacting the boaters at the beginning of the season to try and get the message out there that um, we want people to operate safely. The campaign aims to be a gentle reminder to not crack open too many beers or pina coladas while out on the water. Since the inception of the operation in 2009, law enforcement officers across the nation have removed over 1,800 BUI operators during the annual three-day weekend. And we encourage them at the end of the day to enjoy, if they're going to enjoy, we'd prefer they're off the water. Um, the laws that we enforce are for vessels underway. The definition of a vessel underway is um, whether you're out here drifting or whether you're driving like I am or you're paddling, that's a vessel underway. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, alcohol use is the primary factor in recreational boater deaths. Everybody knows if you're out in the sun, you're not uh, hydrating um, with water, um, you can kind of get lightheaded, that sort of thing. If you only hydrate with alcohol or alcoholic beverages, that can definitely intensify the effect. Crews out on the lake will also be checking if you have life vests on board and if you dread wearing the typical puffy lifesaver. Corporal Kevin Mays recommends you try an inflatable vest because having a life jacket, well, is the law. Yeah, that's the education portion and we're not out to ruin people's day. We just want to make sure everybody's safe. Just remember, they're going to be checking different parts of your boats, and the most important thing that they really wanted to hone in on was that life vest portion. Make sure you have enough life vests on board for everybody that is riding, and have some fun too. Live in Mallets Bay, Jennifer Sheehan, WPTZ News Channel 5.